In spring, a new school year started, and the school was abuzz with class announcements. I'm in class six. Wow, there are so many people I don't know. I was an ordinary high school junior called Ichiro Seo. Not being a member of any clubs meant that I didn't have many friends, so I was nervous about meeting everyone in my new class. I was sitting in the classroom with a nervous look on my face when the homeroom teacher appeared. Go on then, take turns to introduce yourselves. My new homeroom teacher looks like a nice guy. Thank goodness. I'm Masia Akane, and I'm in a soccer club. My position is the star. Oh, I was waiting for one of you to say that being the star isn't a position. What? Did nobody hear that? Uh, never mind. Oh, girls, feel free to hit me up, but only if you're cute. My name is Aya Takano. I'm in the volleyball club, but I don't go to club activities very often because I don't like getting bruises on my arms. My hobbies are karaoke and visiting cafes. I love a handsome guy, so if you think you look good, please come talk to me. All of my new classmates took turns introducing themselves to the rest of the class in their own way. I'm Shizuku Matsuda. Nice to meet you. What? That's it? Her self-introduction in a clear voice didn't seem like enough, but it appeared that she made the biggest impression on the people around her. She's so beautiful. She has long black hair and a well-shaped face. She looks like a doll. I found myself following her with my eyes. A month later. What's our next class? Math, right? Oh no, I didn't do my assignment. I had made friends and was living a peaceful life. Shizuka's reading alone again. I was concerned about Shizuka, but not in a romantic sense. I never saw her talking to anyone and she spent all her time alone. It was fine if she preferred to be alone, but to my eyes, she looked very lonely. Hey, why are you staring at her like that? What? I'm not. Don't make excuses. You are definitely staring. If you're interested in her, why don't you go talk to her? That's true. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, seriously? You're so brave. That's amazing. What you reading, Shizuka? A book? Oh, I know that, but... Eh? She suddenly walked out of the classroom. Perhaps I upset her. Hey, what you doing? Don't tell me you were hitting on Shizuka. No, I wasn't. I just wanted to talk to her because she's always alone. She famously hates guys. Talking to her won't help. She's got that look, so a lot of guys approach her, but she always turns them down. She doesn't even try to be sociable. I see. Masuya, why doesn't Shizuka get along with other girls? I don't know, maybe she likes to be alone. I wasn't convinced. Sometime later, a rumor circulated. Word had it that Masuya, a popular guy in my class, had asked Shizuka out and got rejected. Dang it! Shizuka is getting a bit full of herself just because she's pretty, isn't she? I'm sure you'll find someone else. Hmm... Masuya knew that she hated guys, but he still asked her out. He's popular with girls, so he probably thought she wouldn't be able to resist him. But Aya tried to console him. That was nice of her. I figured it was just another failed love story. Shizuka is so creepy. She's ugly, but she's got the wrong idea about herself. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> Aya Takano, the diva in our class, started harboring bad feelings for Shizuka. She began speaking ill of her while Shizuka was in earshot so that she'd hear. It appeared that Aya had feelings for Masuya who had asked out Shizuka and was rejected. This hurt Aya's pride. Hey, you heard me earlier, didn't you? Say something. You're always reading a book like it's cool or something. Mm -mm. Shizuka was dignified and didn't humor Aya by responding to her. That seemed to irritate Aya even more. It escalated gradually. Aya, you're an interesting person. <laughs> Is that so? Masuya seemed to resent Shizuka rejecting him, so he tried to stir up bad feelings for her in Aya. Aya's harassment continued, and as she and Masuya were both central figures in the class, no one could stand up to them. Hey, you guys, that's enough! What? What the heck? This is uncomfortable to watch. You should be ashamed! What? I don't get it. We're just having a little joke. 
She's better than both of you. Your personalities suck. Hey, don't get carried away. I don't want to hear another word from you. You're only harassing her because she rejected you. That's so lame. I haven't done anything. That's even more lame. You just stir things up and don't do anything yourself. Then, when it becomes a problem, you turn around and say you had nothing to do with it. It's pathetic. Hey! Are you trying to impress Shizuka or something? <sighs> you guys are idiots. You can't be serious. You have bad taste. It seems you guys don't understand anything I say that's based on common sense. Hey, what's going on here? We were both very angry at each other and were about to make a move when we heard the homeroom teacher's voice and took our seats. I picked a fight with the most popular boy and girl in the class, and the next day, I became completely isolated. Although I wasn't directly harassed, it was quite painful to be avoided by my good friends. <sighs> Eating alone is so lonely. But at least Shizuka isn't being bothered anymore, so it's okay. <sighs> a week later, after school, Ah, uh, that Ichiro guy really gets on my nerves. I'm making sure nobody speaks to him, but he's acting like he doesn't care. I have an idea about how we could break him. The next morning. Hey everyone, listen up! There's a rumor that there's gonna be an unannounced bag inspection today. They say it's to tighten up on cheating before our exams. If you don't put your cell phone in your locker, it'll be confiscated. That's good to know. Thanks for the heads up! I guess I'll have to put mine away too. After school that day, I was told by a classmate that my homeroom teacher wanted me to meet him in the gym storeroom. Huh? There's nobody here. Why would he call me here? I guess I'll just wait for him. Excuse me. Eh? Uh. Shizuka, did our homeroom teacher ask you to meet him here? Yeah. What could he want with the two of us? I don't know. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, excuse me. Someone? Whoa, why won't the door open? Wait, what? Uh, Shizuka. I'm sorry. I was so startled. I was startled too, but we have to do something to get out of this situation. We need to call for help. Uh, I left my cell phone in my locker! I did too. I guess there probably wasn't a bag inspection after all. I think you're right. I wonder if the bag inspection and our current situation are at all connected. Is it possible that we weren't really called here by our homeroom teacher? Could I and Masaya be behind all this? Anyway, we need to get out of here. I wonder if there's anything in here that might help us get out. I'll look for something too. We searched around the room and in our bags frantically for something that might help. Uh, your book fell out. Oh! Did you see it? Oh, um... Yeah. Uh... Oh no, that can't have been good. <laughs> what? Shizuka, the cool, confident beauty, started crying. It made me very uneasy. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, you don't have to be sorry for anything. Everything that's happened is so messed up. Please, don't cry anymore. Okay, I'll stop crying. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just my image of you. Did you think I was totally different? The opposite. You're just like I thought you were. What? I figured you were a sensitive and soft person. You always looked so lonely. It's the first time someone said that to me. I've been withdrawn and shy ever since I was a kid, and I'd like to fix that. But boys have messed with me a lot since elementary school. I'm not good with boys. I'm a little scared of them, to be honest. I think I'm easily misunderstood. That's why I hide myself away. I'm quite lonely, but I can't help it. I don't know what else to do. That was hard for you to admit, wasn't it? Shizuka began crying again as she was telling me about herself. But I'm not afraid of you, Ichiro. What? Thanks for protecting me the other day. Oh. 
I've wanted to thank you for a long time, but I didn't know when to say it. Your actions made me very happy. Are you crying again? I won't cry anymore, I promise. We forgot about being locked in the gym storeroom and spent a lot of time getting to know each other better. I wonder what's going on between them right now. They must feel so awkward, right? A girl who hates guys and an introvert are locked in a room together? Just thinking about it makes me laugh. I wonder if we should spread a strange rumor about them being stuck in there together. Aya, you're the best. You should compliment me more. If we destroy the equipment in the gym, it'll be blamed on them, won't it? You're a genius. Let's go. Hey, you two have some explaining to do. Hey, are you okay? I'm gonna get you out now. Huh? So my sisters got into a big fight, and when I went to stop them, one of them shouted, whose side are you on? I wasn't on either of their sides. <laughs> uh, teacher, it's not what it looks like. Someone else locked us in here. <sighs> yeah, I know. Aya and Masia, right? I've got them waiting in the guidance counselor's office. Ah, uh, I see. That's good to hear. You two seem to be getting along very well. Aya and Masia, the two most popular kids in our class, were suspended for their actions. No one wanted to have anything to do with them when they returned to school, either. With the two most popular kids in class gone, the attitude of the rest of our classmates drastically changed. Ichiro, I'm sorry. We were your friends, but we did nothing to help you. I'm sorry, it wasn't fair. I forgive you guys. Shizuka and I didn't become the most popular kids in our class, though. We tried to remain as distant as we could from those around us. This omelet is delicious! You love my sweet omelet! But it was never out of malice. Our classmates were just looking out for us, making sure they didn't get in the way of Shizuka and mine's sudden closeness. My school life became blissful. <laughs>